Here's an example of using MATLAB Coder to prototype your algorithm for the desktop. Here we have uh, a three-band parametric equalizer, and we're using a couple of system objects in our algorithm. We have DSP.audio file reader to read in our audio file. We then use DSP.audio player to create the audio player so we can hear it. And finally, we have DSP.udp receiver in order to receive UDP packets. And of course, we have a DSP dot by, uh, by quad filter for our by quad filter object. Now, looking further down, in our audio loop, we have a big while loop, and inside of our while loop, for each um, frame of data that's coming in, we're going to first of all read in the uh, audio file. Then we're going to check to see if a new UDP message arrived or not. The reason why we're using UDP is that in addition to this. Uh, algorithm, we also have a front-end GUI where the user can uh, specify the filter coefficients. So if there's any updates to the filter coefficients, it will that front-end GUI will send a UDP packet to this uh, algorithm and we'll pick it up and update our um, filter coefficients as necessary. Next we'll execute our parametric equalizer algorithm and finally we'll output the uh, processed audio. Let us go ahead and generate executable for the, our parametric equalizer.m. You can use uh, MATLAB coder through the graphical user interface or programmatically through the command line. So in this case we're going to go ahead and build our executable from the command line. We also need to specify the type of input we expect to send into our algorithm. So I'm going to specify an audio file. We were able to generate our executable param equalizer. Now go ahead and start our front end GUI. Here's our three band uh, equalizer. In the background I'm going to ask it to run the executable instead of the original MATLAB code. And here are the three bands in red, blue, and black. As we run it, you're going to hear uh, differences uh, to, the filter, uh, to the filters. And as we change these bands, the updated filter coefficients will then be sent by UDP to our executable running in the background. So I'll go ahead and click play. And as you could hear, once we updated the filter coefficients graphically on the front end, we can see the filter uh, coefficients being sent to our executable, which then is actually uh, changing the, the way the audio sounds.